The HDSL VC2 error is a common issue affecting MetaQuest 3, 3S, and Quest 2 headsets that prevents users from accessing the store and their purchased applications. This error blocks access to the Meta Store, prevents you from launching purchased apps, and causes library synchronization problems. Understanding the common causes helps identify the right solution. The error typically stems from three main issues. Now let's walk through the troubleshooting steps to resolve this error, starting with the most common solutions. First, check if the Oculus app is syncing correctly. Open your profile, navigate to Horizon Settings, and make sure Sync is enabled. Try restarting your headset. For a simple restart, just turn it off and on. For a deeper restart, hold power and volume down buttons until the boot menu appears, then select boot device. The boot menu will look like this, with boot device highlighted in blue. Wi-Fi issues are common causes. Forget your current network and reconnect, preferably using a five gigahertz connection. Some users report problems specifically with Wi-Fi 6 networks. Finally, ensure your MetaQuest software is updated, check Meta Account Sync in the Oculus app settings, and verify your headset connection. These basic troubleshooting steps resolve most HDSL VC2 errors. When basic troubleshooting steps don't resolve the HDSL VC2 error, several advanced fixes can help restore your MetaQuest functionality. First, try logging out and back into the Oculus mobile app. This refreshes your account connection and can resolve authentication issues. Next, clear storage space on your headset and disable automatic updates. This frees up bandwidth and prevents background processes from interfering with the connection. Ch check that your headset is properly connected in the Oculus app under the Devices section. This ensures the app recognizes your headset and can communicate with it. As a last resort, you can perform a factory reset. However, this will completely erase all headset content, games, and save data. Only proceed if other methods have failed. To perform a factory reset, turn off your headset completely. Then hold the power and volume down buttons simultaneously until the boot menu appears. Use the volume buttons to select factory reset and confirm with the power button. If none of these advanced fixes resolve the HDSL VC2 error, it's time to contact Meta Support directly. They have access to additional diagnostic tools and can provide personalized assistance. Some users have reported success with unconventional methods like connecting their phone to the headset for screen sharing but these are not officially supported fixes and should be used with caution.